So here they are guys, the Caramore XL3 men's running shoes. The XL3 has a plus ride midsole that absorbs up to 17% more impact, whilst the Kerr's responsive cushioning system delivers up to 20% more energy return to keep you going that extra mile, according to Caramore. The arch brace wraps around the midfoot for a secure and personalised fit, whilst the high poly insole provides further underfoot comfort and shock absorbency, and the engineered mesh upper helps keep your feet cool. This shoe fits true to size and I've got a UK 9.5 as always. This shoe cost me £45 here in the UK. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to 4D Runs. Now if this is your first time at 4D Runs, I want you to smash the pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 4D Runs running community and check out the description, there's loads of cool things including the link to these bad boys. Right, Caramore running shoes. Are they any good or are they absolute rubbish? Let's find out. Right guys, so these are the Caramore XL3, the men's shoe. Now these do come in the ladies. Um, I've got these shoes on the channel because I'm really interested to know at £43, are these any good? And should you be spending 120, 140 or even 100 pounds on running shoes when these are on the market for 40 pounds? I was really interested to find out. So I picked these because hopefully as you know by now I'm a neutral runner. I look for decent amount of cushioning and energy return at the same time. A nice breathable upper, decent lockdown in the lacing and not too heavy. That's kind of my go-to shoe. These kind of ticked all the boxes. We've got the Curs and the Ride Plus, so we've got the energy return and we've got a bit of cushioning in the midsole. The lacing's pretty good. Uh, it's got almost a little bit of fly wire going on in there, so lockdown. Tongue's okay, not too thick, and around the heel, uh, it's got a reasonable amount of cushioning, and despite these being relatively cheap, um, it doesn't feel cheap around there. It does feel a little bit cheap on the upper, would say that, mesh upper, but it does feel a little bit cheap. Um, the shoe's not too heavy either, which is good. Um, but yeah, so I took these out on a park run. I slipped them on uh, and I went out there and I uh, took myself around. I wasn't going for a particular time. I was just looking really to have some fun while I was out there. The upper performed well, uh, behaved itself. You can see a bit of exposed midsole there. Um, yeah, and it was wet out there, as you can see, today's a bit mucky, so uh, the shoe held up with regards to traction, so that was good, the outsole did a good job. Bit concerned about these, I think maybe after a bit of time these will wear down very quickly, but uh, we shall see. Um, the overall fit was true to size, uh, didn't feel too big, didn't feel too small. Uh, this wasn't rubbing at all, uh, considering this is the first time I ran in them, didn't have any problems there, uh, and the shoe felt decent and light, as I say, and it locked me down nice. I was getting a... Not springy, but I was, I, you know, it wasn't, I wasn't like landing on the concrete and going, oh, Jesus, you know, there was enough in there, uh, considering the price. Where this shoe is interesting, and I think this is the, the most important part, if you are a runner who just likes to go out, smash out half hour in the evening because it's your thing to do to get a bit of space, you know, trying to get fit, trying to burn off all the calories, and you're just lacing up and going out the door, these would do a great job at 43 pound. I said 45 in the start, but I actually paid 43. Um, these would do a great job. If you're a park runner and you that's all you do, 43 pound, brilliant. And that's where this shoe is, it is so good. And it offers everybody um, who are starting out or who hasn't got much money an opportunity to get a running shoe um, that you know what is actually pretty decent for the price. And I think that's what the important thing is here, is this offers everybody out there an opportunity to get a, a running shoe at uh, an affordable price. You, there is even shoes on there that were like 23, 25 pound. Um, so I went for these because I was looking for certain things, but there are cheaper shoes on there. And that's a great thing with Caramore. Um, as I say, it is a cheap brand, but they are offering something to everybody, which I think is awesome. So you don't have to be spending, you know, 240 pound uh, for a running shoe or, you know, 140 pound for a running shoe you don't need to be doing that if you're literally just going out there because it is your thing to get out and just the only time you can do some exercise then this sort of shoe is brilliant um the only thing i would say the only thing i would say is i'm not sure how well it will hold up over time you know there's a bit of exposed glue there like i said about the outsole but as i said for 43 pound i think it's good value i really do 
I wouldn't wear these for my long runs. I wouldn't wear these if I was doing any speed work. But like I said, if I just wanted to stick a pair of shoes on, go and do 2K with the kids at a junior park run, or like I say, a park run this morning, brilliant example of where this shoe fits in. So yeah, guys, I really would recommend check out the Caramel shoes. Don't be put off just because of the brand. And I think that's the important message to take away. Don't be put off just because it's a Caramel. It's not a Nike or, or, a, or a Brooks or anything like that. Don't be put off by the brand. These are a good shoe for the everyday runner and i think that's the most important thing so yeah i was really really keen to test these on the channel because as i say you know 40 runs is all about the everyday run i was really really intrigued to see how i got on and i was really impressed guys so check them out carry them all. i went on sportsdirect.com and got them and they're as cheap as chips but there you go guys check them out <laughs>